Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. We're gonna be trying some arts and crafts. As we all know, there's a pandemic going on. So I've been trying to explore new hobbies. I've recently kind of been intrigued by embroidery. So I actually did embroider one thing. I embroidered Nick a hoodie for his birthday. I have a TikTok of it. And I didn't really like watch any videos on how to embroider. So I really don't think I did it properly. So I just quickly watched a few videos on different stitches. I still don't really understand it, but you fake it till you make it. I want to embroider a cute little butterfly. I took a screenshot of a butterfly and I'm thinking maybe if maybe, it, oh, it works. I'm a genius. So I can just trace it right onto the t-shirt and then do the embroidery. I just use an eyebrow pencil to trace because it's washable. It's visible, it works. So I placed my phone under the shirt and I traced the butterfly. I traced the different sections where I wanted different colors. And then I took the phone out from underneath, touched it up, made it more even. Then I put the embroidery ring around it and I was ready to go. I've seen it where they've like pulled the thread apart to make it thinner, but I don't really want to do that, you know? When I did embroidery on Nick's sweater, I just put the whole thread on the needle and then like put the needle in the middle and tied it. So it was like double thick. I don't know how else you're supposed to tie it to the needle. I mean, I guess I could watch a video on how you're supposed to do it. There's no right or wrong way to do embroidery, right? Right. Got my thread ready to roll, tied in a knot. Let's begin. So I really just went for it. I started with with the orange sections and I didn't do any particular thread. I know I said I watched videos, but I literally still didn't understand. So I just kind of went back and forth making lines just to fill up the space. And then I moved on to the sections I wanted yellow. And then the very last colored thread I did was black. Well, and then I did white after that, but black was like the main thing. That's what made it all come together. And yeah, so that I didn't do any fancy stitch. I just followed the outline. I really just wung it. I tried my best. And honestly, it was very fun, very relaxing activity, if I do say so myself. See that? I mean that? I ran out of black thread. Literally had the tiniest bit to do, and I ran out. We'll resume momentarily. <laughs> You guys, no joke, I was so determined to finish this shirt that night. I found black thread on the floor. I was able to fill up the black spaces, but then I realized I didn't have any white thread to do the little dots. So I literally cut white thread out of the holes in my pants and tried to use that, but it didn't work. So uh, this is the next day. We're back, baby, ready to finish this shirt. Shout out to Michaels for doing curbside pickup orders. I did use some black thread to touch up what I tried to complete the night before. Because I had so little left to do, I was like, oh, I don't need to use the embroidery ring. Honey, you do because I accidentally stitched my shirt in half. Thankfully, we could reverse it, but I still would suggest to always use an embroidery ring even if you literally need to add one thing because I did notice in this part of the process I messed up my butterfly patch a little bit. <laughs> Okay, what am I doing? Here we have it, the finished look. I think it turned out pretty good. It got a little bit wonky, but other than that, I feel like it turned out pretty cute. The wings are not identical. They're not twins, not even sisters maybe second cousins. It kind of gives me Brandy Melville vibes, even though I've never shopped at Brandy Melville in my life, so I actually don't know. Obviously, I do not know the proper technique, so if you're an embroidery queen in the comments, don't judge me too harshly. I didn't do any sort of like the back stitch or the overcross thread stitch. I kind of made it up as I went. So yeah, that is my butterfly embroidery. This has been my embroider with me video. So thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Be prepared, this quarantine is bringing out crafting Libby, DIY Libby. Be ready, this is gonna be a craft channel soon. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys all next week. Thank <laughs> you.